Hello everyone, welcome to TextFire. In today's video, we'll explore about graph tables in SQL Server. So let's start with our table of content. So today's video will be more of practical than theory, but let's start with the theory, which is introduction about graph database and graph table. And then we'll be covering up the practical on how you will design schema based on graph table and covering the, the sample query, which are available on MSDN. So first we'll cover up that basic, and then we'll be looking into how you can migrate existing database or existing tables into graph structure with a small example. And the last one will be advanced query in graph SQL. Now these graph queries um, might, might not be advanced in terms of graph queries, but they are advanced in a way because translating these into traditional SQL is very difficult or sometimes even not possible. So we'll look into this one. So let's start with introduction first. As you know, graph databases are used to store and manage the data that is complex and highly connect having a highly connected relationship between entities. Give an example. If you take uh, social media as an example in social media let's say you want to find the friend of friend uh, and you also want to find out the, the friend of friend who has liked certain place and start recommending those things to some other person so it's a highly connected structure where even a like can be in relationship between two people or two post uh, give an example let's say you like uh, certain post of a certain celebrity and with based on that i can take that uh, you can say a suggestion and i can start recommending to the people who are in your circle who might might have the similar interest. So those are the queries and relationship which are very easy to cover in the graph database compared to a normal traditional SQL Server. So in SQL Server, we have a graph table introduced in SQL Server 2017. This allows us to use all the RDBMS feature along with the graph features and which allows us to maintain relationship uh, into a graph a graphical fashion. So the visualization of graph database are generally uh, used uh, like be done using BI tools like Power BI or Tableau, but we will be not looking into the visualization, but we will be look more looking into the practical part of it. So coming to the demo. So as in the demo, first we'll start with how graph schema looks like, because from there you will understand how the queries are working. So let's take a basic example on a normal SQL database. So let's say if I give you a task to design a customer and order database. So something uh, somewhere it will look like this, like we have a customer has a master table and the primary key is a customer ID. And then we have an order table where the primary key is order ID, but we do have a foreign key between customer and order table that is customer ID. But now here is the part, like this is the part where the graph tables are different from the traditional table. In graph table, we have two type of table. One is node and second is edge table. So node tables are nothing but like they will be similar to your table, like the basic tables in SQL Server. So for the customer table, all the properties remain same, but it do have some inbuilt columns, which is like underscore node ID, which is inbuilt. So you don't have to compute it. It automatically creates the node ID. There are other as well, like graph ID and other things, but for this demo, so the node ID will be the more uh, important part. And then we have order tables. So both of these tables are the node tables. Now here you will see, I don't have a customer ID into the order table because customer ID, the foreign key relationship between customer and order will be saved into edge table. So as I told you, there are two types of table. One is node and second is edge. So the relationship between these two tables or these two rows are saved into an edge table. Now by default, you don't have to specify a structure of an edge table, but you can add more columns to it. We'll look into the example. And by default, the edge table will contain two columns minimum, uh, more than two, but these are the two one which are, uh, which are important to us. One is from ID and second is to ID. And then the type of this is node ID. So whatever the node ID type is binary type, these will be of the same type. Now, before looking into example, you need to remember these basic points. One is node table contains inbuilt column like node ID and graph ID. So node ID is very important when we generate relationships. And then edge table can be considered as relationship between two nodes. So as I told you, relationship is not based on the foreign key like customer ID. It is based on the customer order table, which will contain the relationship. And then foreign keys are not required as they will do that work for you. Again, it's the same repetition of the same uh, thing into a different language. And then uh, edge table contains inbuilt column like from ID to ID graph ID. It contains many more. You can say uh, two object and from object. So let's leave it that. But these are the three things which are very important for us. So let's jump into the simple query example so that you can understand how it is working. So I have just created a simple database graph DB right now. There is nothing, but we'll be creating these tables into it. So I have three tables. One is person, restaurant, and the city. 
okay so these are the three master table uh, now i need to create relationship between in these tables so instead of having a restaurant and there is a separate table for restaurant other thing we will have edge tables give an example in the social media circle the person will go to the restaurant he will have the dinner and breakfast and then he will like the restaurant let's say they, it right like the restaurant on a website so i will be recording those like into an edge table here you will see there is a rating column but other s table doesn't have any column as i told you by default s table will have form id and to id and this additional information if you want to keep you can have it on there as an attribute so now we, i have created a likes as a table which is an s table which will be serving a like between person and restaurant now best part is the same like can be used to connect person and city if i want so it it doesn't matter like whether it's between two the, the thing is the relationship is a like so that's how the graph table works and then is like creating friend of so the person can have a friend which will be again a person and then which will is like a self join in our sql so we can have it and then lives in uh, in which city the person lives in and located in in which city the restaurant is located in so now uh, we will populate some few records for restaurant and uh, Customer, person and city. So let me run this query. So now you remember these are edge table. There is no particular structure with these. Uh, so these are I mean only from and all. So now let's look into the power of graph queries. So first we'll okay. Also we need to populate this relationship. So relationships are nothing but so first as a populated person, restaurant, and city. Now as I told you, we have in build column like node ID. So I'm saying like okay. So when it's a like the person like a restaurant. So I'm just getting their node ID, like you can say node ID from the person table with an ID. So this is a static data I'm inserting for person two is liking the restaurant, two person three is liking restaurant three, kind of. So this is just dummy data. Again, similar thing for lives in. So I am again saying like for this person, select the node ID, insert in there and select from the city, uh, find the node ID, again, put into the lives in because it's a the relationship it lives in. So the first column will by default go to from ID and the second relation will go into to ID. So it's all defined. So let's me run these relationship. Okay, now as we have a data already in our system, so again, it is related to located in where the restaurant is located, where, what who are the friends uh, as a common circle. So let's start with a basic example. Let's say if I want to find which restaurant John likes. So now the, the this is the expression. So we only go for an NC SQL as a join kind of a condition. And then we'll go for a match where the person likes restaurant and a person name is John. So I'm looking for which are, are the restaurant which John has liked. So I can just click on it and I can find out he likes Taco Dell. Now, similar way, if I want to find, okay, let me recommend some restaurant to John. How I can find those restaurants? So what I will see is, okay, let me see which restaurant John friend goes. And based on that, I will recommend those restaurants which John friend has liked into the system. So what I have said is, okay, the person should be friend of a person which represent a friendship relationship. And then the second person has liked the restaurant. So now I will get all the data, uh, you can say all the restaurant which John friend has liked. Right now the data is very less. We only have three restaurant and five customer people. So we can ignore in terms of size of data, but you should understand how a normal match, you can say clause used in graph where we can present a relationship, a journey of a relationship to select the data in this expression where the person is a friend of person and then likes the restaurant. So this is a basic scenario. Now also let's look into other situations. So let's say find a person who like a restaurant in the same city they lived in. So in the same city, if someone else, some other person has liked the restaurant, let's figure it out. So I said like the person like a restaurant, second located in the city means they have the city, uh, like they have a city location. And then I said the person also lives in the same city. So I am saying like, I will recommend you all the restaurant. Uh, you can say the person name who has liked the restaurant. Okay, different, different restaurants. So this is the, you can say expression, which I can get all the people who have liked the date. Uh, you can say like the restaurant in the same city, which they lived in. 
Now, this is the last query for, you can say, sample example, then we'll turn into migration. And then after that, we'll go for an advanced query session. Now, if I take an example of this one, so I say find all friends of friends, excluding those where the relationship loops back. Loops back is, let's say, if uh, you like the restaurant, or, or you could say, let's say you are a friend of, uh, John is friend of Mary, Mary is friend of Alice, and Alice, again, is friend of John. So it becomes a circular reference. So just to avoid that these conditions are there. But if you read the query, it's very simple. So here I have Elias. So I said like the person, friend of person two as a friend of person two, and then friend of as friend of friend, and the person and person three, and a friend of friend of friend. So I'm trying to find out all the relationships. So I'm saying the find me the person who has a friend in the person two, and again, find the friend of friend for that person. Again, go and find the friend of friend for the next person and get me all the friends. You can say well, the friend of friend kind of situation. Uh, you can say data. So it's an hierarchical data. So with that, here I've just constructed, I said like, okay, Jacob is friend of Mary. Mary is friend of Alice and friend of Jones. Now, right now here, you see only three levels we have went. So if we want to go more, we can add it more. But if we want to go recursive, there are many ways of doing that in graph SQL, uh, you can say graph table queries. But as of now, if you want to just try to find like a friend of friend of friend, then you can easily get with this expression. The main key is, so in graph database, the relationship is represented by the separate edge table. If you can understand this, then you have understand 50% of the graph. And from there, like the journey to graph is very simple. Let's now go to the migration. So here, uh, this is my favorite database, which is Northwind. In Northwind database, what I will do is I will migrate customer and orders and I will establish the customer order as a relationship. So again, I will just create this table. So as I am creating customer table as node and customer order as an edge, and I'm also not specifying extra column as by default, it has from and to ID. So if I just run this, I have the data. Now from Northwind, I'm populating two columns, which is customer ID and company name. And then from orders, I'm populating order ID, order date and fright, which is the amount. And if I run these two queries, I'm able to insert the data. Now, what I need to do is I need to populate orders. So now the orders will be going to customer order where I'm selecting. So here is a simple join between orders and the customer based on the customer ID. And then I'm saying, find the node from the customer table, uh, here I've just added a coalition because there was a coalition error. And uh, so the customer ID from here should be part of this customer because I have already populated the customer and find the node ID and insert into from. And similar way, I've done the same for getting the node ID of the order for that particular customer. So if I populate it now, I will have a lot of data into my customer order table. So if I want to see, so I can go and run the select star from here, I can see Edge ID and select from ID and to ID, those kind of columns, I'm already having it. Okay. Now, looking into the query. Now, the first query, which is very simple query, I want to see, find me all the order of the customers. So if I can, I want to do it, I can easily do it. Customer, customer order and orders because the end table is the orders. This arrow can go into the reverse direction also. I want to select all the orders where there is a customer, which is right now, we don't have orphan orders, but you can do that. Now let's compare the performance of this query with a traditional join query. So if I go into execution plan, I will see. So this query is a little bit heavier in terms and like they ha it has operator like table scan and other things. And the traditional query is 28% in terms of usage when it says so this query is almost three, three to uh, three times heavier than the this small simple join query. But this is one way of looking at the query, but you can still optimize it using indexes. So I can create index based on the customer order. Right now the orders are less, so it might not impact much because the scanning more says, but when the database grow, these index will have better impact. I think now they might have a performance. No, the, the performance improvement is almost same, but here index, uh, you can say table scan has been converted to index C. So which is a good, you can say, uh, progress in terms of performing. But now let's not compare these based on this performance. Now let's see the task, which are very easier with the graph table queries, but in a traditional queries, it's very difficult to complete them. So let's look into those examples. So let's assume you are creating a social media network and you want to recommend, suggest the friends to a person. Like we have a, a friend suggestion in Instagram, uh, Twitter and other places. So how you can find the suggestion. So I said, okay, fine with the shortest part between. So first example is when I want to see, okay, should I give a suggestion to, um, you can say 
to one other person like i want to give a suggestion to alice and jacob like there is a mutual friend in between so i'm trying to find those shortest part in between two people so here the concept is there is a function called shortest path where i'm saying the person one have a relationship friend of person two plus now the plus is like iteration like till the end it need to iterate find all the possibility where the person one is uh, jacob so it is going and trying to find all the person as a relationship and then i said okay and the last node should be again the last node is uh, you, you can easily find with this last value function which is a window function in this one it's different than the normal window function so i'm saying okay where the last person is alice find me all the hierarchy so it says okay jacob is a friend of mary and mary is a friend of alice so it find the shortest path for me to alice so it's a very simple thing if we can go with that now coming to the second example which i was telling where you need to find uh the, you can say suggest the people or you want to find the relationship between all the people who are friend of friend of jacob so it's very simple again the shortest path i'm saying and iteratively but i have just removed the last node as a condition and now i can find out all the people who can be friend of uh, jacob so J mary is friend of jacob but he ha he like a suggestion can be made directly to alice and john as a person to jacob so it's a very simple thing if you see translate try to do this in sql so it's kind of a little bit messy and uh, difficult to do now coming to this one so so the example which i said is like people i want to recommend like so with this example here we have something called a level where we try to find out what level the person is so graph path and other thing these are operators for it so here i can see if i want to recommend okay let me see if i want to recommend all the levels let me just select without this so it will give me all the levels so level where the uh, you can say jacob is a friend so mary and jacob are friend on the level one which are direct friend and level two it can recommend to we can recommend it to some uh, you can say jacob and three let's say there is an hierarchy there are level four and five and six and we only want to recommend till level two that can be done again from this particular part so you can imagine in a social media network if you are establishing that uh, relationship and trying to find the suggestion so it becomes super easy for you like finding the people where the person has liked something and start recommending those places to the other person based on the like also we can find a relationship between a shopping cart where the person is purchasing something liking something and then we can say okay this can be potential buyer and the friend of his also can be potential buyer and try to create those relationships this is how you can say analytics is working in terms of adverts and other things the you can say graph is small part of it but it is part of it now here i said like here i want to find all the nodes still so the plus sign here is like find all the nodes and then if i want to specify okay i want to get level one and level two so i can easily say level one to level two or level one to level two i want to get so it can easily only get to the person who has the under those level so you don't have to you can say put a condition outside you can easily say i want to get till this i can increase this so the people between level you can say three uh, one two three i can say it from level two to three if i don't want to include direct friends so i think oh sorry it requires level one so it will require level one here okay now this is the last example again so here it's like uh, finding the shortest path for a given node to all the other nodes uh, irrespective of the person and just excluding that person itself so if i run it it can easily say okay alice can friend john and then uh, john is a friend of mary so again for the ls is the same thing so now here you can see the graph table queries uh, these are the advanced table queries it's very difficult to translate these queries into normal sql server translation model where i want to find friend of friend and those kind of a thing and it makes more sense in terms of seeing into an expression like this where the person is a friend of person two and then saying okay where the first person is this and i am finding the direct friends so as i so the whole example is so graph table revolve around node and edge where edge is nothing but the relationship between two rows and the graph is mainly known for keeping the relation saving the relationship separate so that a scalability can be made on that so in sql server you can utilize graph for social media like like network or linkedin like uh, like network if you are trying to create uh, it has its own drawing back because right now in terms of performance metrics where less is available online but it's a quite good if you want to explore this concept and try to use it and it's also easier as it's in the same rdbms so if later stage you want to translate them back to the other structure you can easily do that so there is nothing wrong there so 
I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any question, you can write me on my email ID and you can reach me on my website. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.